Hi friends, let's talk about some of the inexpensive hydroponic systems and how they work compared to AeroGarden. I am surely a huge fan of AeroGarden but at the same time I care about the value for money. Nowadays I am seeing tens of hydroponic systems with various names. Sometimes they show up at a very attractive price. So I went ahead and tried a couple of them and got the mixed results. Some of those systems are okay to grow some basic plants like lettuce, basil, etc. I even managed to grow tomatoes in some models like I do and Morse Hydro. Some results are pretty close to Aero Garden. So I can say that those systems are not bad in terms of performance, but they are pretty cheaply made, no quality checks, no practical designs, no durability, no customer support, etc. My main issues with those systems is the design and the durability. First, let me call out some of the design issues. This is IDO 7 pod system. The bowl in the system has so many cuttings and these cuttings make the cleaning very difficult. The pod baskets comes with it are pretty unique and it's hard to find the compatible sponges. And they are often expensive. This is IDO 12 pod system. The bowl in the system is okay, but it has super weird pod baskets. They are super tiny and they couldn't hold the plants well. Good that they changed these baskets in their recent 12 pod models. Another design issue is the wires. Look how these cables are hanging. These wires often comes in between when I am dealing with plants. Here is I do 10 pod model. In addition to the cables issue, it has two more issues. First one is the loose pod baskets. These pod baskets are not tight enough, so the plants often fall on one side. Second issue is the lights are pretty far from the bowl. This leads to the seedlings grow leggy. This is IDO 8 pod model. They finally fixed the weird design with cables. They also fixed the height adjustment issues with the light panel and the minimum height it can go is literally zero. It is compact, supports 8 pods and still has 3 liter water capacity bowl. The only problem I see in this model is the pods are still loose. I wish they fixed this issue too. Anyways, with all these improvements, 8 pod model is my favorite of all IDO hydroponic systems. Alright, that's enough of IDO. Next off-brand system I am using is the Hotters. This is a pure copy of IDO 8 pod model. Of course, I don't know who copied from whom. Anyways, I like this one as well. Hotters and IDO 8 pod model performed exactly same. Next one that I am actively using is the Mars Hydro. It supports 12 pods, bigger bowl with 6 liter capacity and the lights can be extended up to 1.5 feet. However, it has 3 issues. Number 1, pods are not tight and the plants often fall. Number 2, the lights are far from the pods. This leads to the seedlings grow leggy. Number 3, pump cable is sealed into the bowl. This is in fact a very good design and the bowl can be detached quick and easy. We don't need to unplug the pump cable like Aero Garden or I do. So I am very impressed with this design initially. However, if the pump stopped working and I want to replace it, it is not as easy as replacing the pump in Aero Garden or other systems. So the impressive feature eventually became an issue. One more pretty useless system I tried is Sun High. Totally useless settings, very low efficient lights, weird design, everything is crap here. Fun thing is, this system became unavailable few days after I purchased and the seller is also disappeared. I couldn't grow a single thing in this garden. 
talking anything more than this will be a waste of your time and my time. Now my second issue with these inexpensive systems is the durability. I had to replace the pumps in 3 of my 7 IDU systems so far. Sunhai is completely dead. Luckily I haven't seen any light panel issues so far. Hotas and Mars Hydro are fairly new and they are less than 1 year old. So I can't speak much about their durability for now. Now coming to Aero Garden. Aero Gardens are surely made with great quality. Whatever the light wattage they mention is true and it works practically for many plant varieties. And the water circulation through grow deck is a great design. Each Aero Garden model is different and they are all made compact and perfect for the number of pots they support in each model. It is not like the Aero Gardens are 100% perfect. They have a few issues. Number one, grow deck on all harvest models have lots of gaps. This is encouraging the algae growth all over the bowl. Issue number two is a bunch of LEDs on three of my harvest slims are dead. Those slims are out of warranty and Aero Garden rejected to replace those light panels. Luckily, I don't see this issue on any of my other Aero Garden models. Some of my Aero Gardens are 5 years old and they are still working fine. The issue number 3 is the Bounty Grow Deck has a very complicated design and it is not easy to detach all the pods. This makes the cleaning very difficult. However, this becomes easy once we figure out how to deal with it. They have some other minor issues but these are the most bothering issues. Even though the Aero Gardens have these issues, given how effectively they work, their durability, clean and compact designs, and their customer support makes the Aero Gardens nearly perfect and a number one go-to system in hydroponics. Because the Aero Gardens have a good brand, there are many third-party accessories like pod baskets, sponges, stickers, hole covers, replacement pumps, etc. are available in the market. These third-party accessories are very economical and works perfectly in many cases. After Aero Garden, I like IDU to some extent and I use my IDU systems mostly for herbs and lettuce. I do definitely has some credibility as I heard some good stuff about their customer support. I myself have first hand experience with their customer support. When the pumps stopped working, they sent me the replacement pump for one of the systems that was still under warranty. I also see they continuously coming up with new models. So if you want to try an inexpensive system, you may try I do. I like their 8 pod and 10 pod models the most. Definitely no to the 7 pod model. The next one I like is the Moss Hydro for their build quality and usability. So my final thoughts are, if the Aero Gardens are available in your region and the prices are reasonable, go for the Aero Garden. If Aero Garden is not a choice, then I prefer I do, but you can go with anything that has some credibility and you can trust the manufacturer or the seller for at least an year. By the way, always be patient and watch for deals and coupons on both Aero Garden and other systems. Try not to pay the full price. Just as an example, I paid $75 for my first IDU 7 port system on January 23rd of 2021. But I paid just $38 for the exact same system on September 3rd in the same year. This is the reason be very patient and grab them at a very discounted price. 
Here are some of the least prices I paid on different IDO systems just for your idea. 8 pod model for $53, 10 pod model for $39, 12 pod model for $91 and 7 pod model for $38. I heard mixer results with a couple of other systems such as Spider Former, Vivo Sun, InBloom, Mufga, Lyco, but I don't have any first hand experience with any of these systems. And I am not sure how long these names exist. About two years ago, I used to see a system named Trekon, but it is no longer available. Many names show up but disappear pretty soon. This is the reason I can't trust all these inexpensive systems. And this is the reason I don't even review all those off-brand systems. Those are all my thoughts about Aero Gardens and other hydroponic systems. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening.